The all-time series record between Maryland women's soccer and Rutgers was dead even before today's game at Ludwig Field, but a penalty kick in the box at the 85th minute of play put the Scarlet Knights ahead and the Terps ultimately fell one to nothing. It was an emotional game for head coach Megan Ryan Nemzer and not just because the Terps fell to the Scarlet Knights. 18 years of my life, I spent more time there than I did here, you know, but I'm so happy to be here. This is, this is my home now. Nemzer was both a star player and coach for the Scarlet Knights and her team fought hard this afternoon for not only themselves, but especially their coach. So I think in the locker room before we kind of talked about banding together and playing as one for her and for a greater purpose, and I think that really helped us today. Rutgers ended the first half with 10 shots over Maryland's one, but neither team could find the back of the net. And we just need to make sure that we're playing for each other and we're not treating them as individual battles and like pointing fingers when something goes wrong. Maryland's best offensive break came from a shot by Hannah Shapiro, who had an open lane to goal, but her strike sailed over the crossbar. About the last 20, 25 minutes, those pieces that we spoke about, they finally were executed with them as well. The score was deadlocked at zero until Catherine DeRosa drew a foul in the box with just under six minutes left. Off of a successful Rutgers penalty kick, the Terps ultimately fell 1-0. Maryland women's soccer will travel to Lincoln, Nebraska, Thursday, October 12th to take on the Cornhuskers. For Terrapin Sports Central, I'm Alana Mutnik.